Struggling cosplayer hates skinny girls being more popular. Is it mess up for attractive people get what? To get more attention than ugly people. But when did cosplay become more about being conventionally attractive than actually, I don't know, cosplaying? If you go to any- No, you should at least be accurate to the character that you're trying to cosplay. So, if you are going to be cosplaying as Ivy from Soul Calibur, don't go in as a 400-pound behemoth. Try to be as accurate as possible. Yeah. Cosplay hashtag on this app. Right. Like, hashtag character name cosplay. If you go to any of those tags on this app, you will see a lot, if not all of, the same exact thing. You will always see white, skinny, conventionally attractive people at the top of every single cos- you just said that they were skinny and attractive. What do you expect? What a big fucking surprise. What does attractive yeah. mean? I think we all know what it doesn't mean. It's like <laughs> you go and you look at gym physique, and mm -hmm. I bet there's not going to be a single person on that fucking trending page that looks like I do. I bet not. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Where's my representation? White. Damn. So I don't know what it's like to be a person of color. Well, how could you know that? Cosplayer on this app. However, I know that I am frustrated being a plus size trans cosplayer. You're obese. You're not plus sized. You're obese. They're on this app because of the way that I have seen this app treat white, skinny, conventionally attractive cosplayers. Yeah. And? You know, if you actually took care of yourself, then perhaps you could have been on there. But instead, you just you decided to destroy yourself. Yeah, and, and the reason why, why are you so fucking surprised about this shit? Because guess who's on TikTok looking for cosplayers? A bunch of little skinny white kids. A bunch of little <laughs> skinny white boys trying to look for their next waifu. It's messed up. Like my chat. It's, a, it's, a, it's like you guys. It's a bunch of 12, 13, 14 year old boys looking for some hot girls on TikToks and shit. Stop. Also, frankly, a little boring. And if I'm frustrated, I can't even imagine how frustrated other people are. Like, like I cannot imagine. Nah, how she trying to act like she's an advocate for people of color. Nah, nah. You're doing this because you have people that don't like your cosplay and now you're you're trying to get on their back and let me guess, you're trying to cosplay as, like, Tifa or something? Be like, oh, I'm doing this for people of color. What a bunch of narcissistic bullshit. People of color cosplayers are because, like, of the, of, of how this app especially has turned cosplay into who's the skinniest, whitest, hottest femme, usually femme presenting person. The most popular cosplayers on this app in my brain, all of them are white, skinny, and conventionally attractive. All Damn. of them are. There is just more to cosplay than being hot. Is there really? Unless you're playing a kid. Like, like, she could probably do, like, an Eggman. Right? She could probably cosplay as, like, Eggman from Sonic. Or Gragas from League of Legends. According to who? If you want to only cosplay because you want to be hot, I don't care what you do with your life at all. Cos I can see that. You don't mm -hmm. care at all. She doesn't got- you, you care so much. You don't care so much you got to make videos about it saying how uh, unfair it is apparently. She doesn't care. Your views and your attention mean something on social media. So are you going to give it to a white, skinny, conventionally attractive cosplayer? It's crazy how anti-racist people, it took less than five minutes and now she's racist. That's crazy. Like it, That was so fast. She switched up on us real quick because for a while I thought that she was against racism. But thank <laughs> God, no. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, body shaming is bad. By the way, don't give your... She could probably cosplay as Gorlock the Destroyer, too. Attention to skinny people. I guarantee you, if I went and I made a TikTok saying, don't look at fat hog cosplayers because they're fat and ugly, <laughs> she'd be sitting there crying about it, saying I'm an asshole. But mm -hmm. she does the exact fucking opposite, and somehow this is supposed to be brave? It's okay to call people skinny. Oh, you're skinny and all this other stuff. Oh, you're just bones and blah, 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 blah. But you call him a fat fuck. Oh, no. 
Or are you gonna give it to a cosplayer who maybe isn't white, maybe isn't skinny, maybe does their makeup in a way that isn't conventionally attractive? See how she goes, does her makeup in a way that isn't conventionally attractive? That's right, because it's not about them, it's about you, and it always was. As long as you're having fun, that's truly all that matters. And please- Well, if that's all that matters, then why are you complaining about TikTok? Because they need validation from other people. These are people that ultimately feel insecure about themselves, and they should. And so they seek validation and affirmation for the poor decisions that they've already made in their life. So instead of losing weight, instead you need to affirm that it's okay for me to be, you know, 100 pounds overweight. Please this is the stay safe and be respectful. Thank you. But yet you weren't respectful to the skinny white girls. Be respectful. By the way, don't follow people that are white and skinny. Exactly. Holy fuck, bro. Like, Stupid. This is so sick. This is this is embarrassing. It's so sad. These people like this man. Like I feel bad for them in a way, right? If they weren't so hateful, I'd feel bad for them. Ridiculous. The shit writes themselves. What is this? Gamza trying to watch Twilight movies in peace. <laughs> Damn you, Jake! I'm sick of all these women trying to give me them damn tacos.